Hi guys, today we are going to look at the role of the diphtheria toxin and its mechanism of action in our body. Cornibacterium diphtheriae produces an exotoxin. Let us take a closer look at it. It is a potent cytotoxin which blocks protein synthesis in the host cell leading to cell death within a matter of minutes. The toxin has a small central part and multiple larger peripheral parts. The peripheral parts, also called subunit B or binding unit, is a large molecule. As its name suggests, it helps in the attachment of the toxin to the host cells. The smaller central part is called the A subunit or the active unit. This part actively participates in the catalytic action, causing toxic effect in the host cells. It is important to know what the protein elongation factor 2 does to regulate protein synthesis in our cells. Protein EF2 aids in the attachment of new amino acid sequences, that is, translation, and the transfer of amino acid sequences from place to place, that is, transamination. It is this protein EF2 that gets inactivated or locked by the toxin. The toxin is released by the bacteria, which then comes in contact with other cells through the bloodstream. This toxin binds to specific receptors or toxin receptors on the cell surface through the binding unit. It is internalized by the endocytosis pathway and the toxin gains entry into the cell. This is also called receptor-mediated cytosis. The toxin is inside a vesicle within the cell. Inside this, the subunits separate and the A subunit diffuses out into the cytoplasm. This A subunit takes up NAD by the process of ADP ribosylation. With the help of this NAD, the A subunit gains access to the protein elongation factor 2 that we just discussed. Here, it irreversibly inhibits the protein elongation factor 2. We know that PEF2 is essential for translation and transamination. Since the EF2 is bound to the A subunit, it is unable to perform its essential actions of translation and transamination. This blocks protein synthesis in the host cell, which instantly leads to death of the host cell. I hope you guys have understood the mechanism of this important toxin. Please do like this video and subscribe to our channel.